Greetings, welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at tables. So this might be a little longer than usual, um, but we're going to look at a few things as to how we can create a table inside of Microsoft Word, how we can edit it, how we can mess it around with it a bit, and uh, maybe insert a picture or two as well. Okay, so here I've got a blank Word document. Um, I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and here you'll see I've got Table. Okay, so if I click on the little down arrow over there, you can see that I've got a heading that says insert table and a whole lot of blocks underneath it. And you'll notice that as I move my mouse pointer down over these blocks, it begins to actually create the table. So it's giving me a little preview of what it can look like, because you can see when I move my mouse pointer away, um, it's gone, right? So let's say, uh, please remember, okay, let me let me put it this way. The, the, the blocks on top, Okay. Each one of these represent a column. So if you want four columns, you'll move over four blocks. Going down, each one of these represent rows. So if I want a table that has four columns and four rows, there's my table. It's a four by four. Um, and again, it just depends on what the question is asking you for. Okay. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go with a four by four or actually a three by four table. And once I've got what I want, I just click, I left click, and there my table has been created. So let's say we have headings like name, surname, and a picture of the individual. What you'll notice is that I can click in any one of these cells and I can then edit, you know, and type and do whatever I want to. If I want to, highlight the entire table i can click on this little cross here over here and you'll see i can then right click on that i can go and um, insert a column over here so if i right click on that i can go insert a column i can insert a row above um, and i can go and delete rows as well okay so this allows me to click and highlight my entire table i can right click on it and I can do certain things um, to my table. Okay. Now, if I click over here, right, just anywhere except the table, you'll see all my tabs at the top remain relatively similar. The minute I click on the crosshair to highlight my table, I now get a table tools a tab that pops up with a design and layout. So I can decide what I want, you know, for my table, but both of these tabs relate to changes that will take place only to the table. So here you see I've got different table styles that I can use to make my table look, you know, nicer, fancier. I can add colors, but there are different styles. I'm just going to select one over here, All right? Also, I've got table style options. I've got shading options. So let's say, for example, I want to just shade this top section, All right? So when I, you'll, you'll see when I move my mouse pointer here, it's just a normal cursor. However, when I begin to move it over the table, you'll see the arrow changes. And when I click on it, it highlights just that column, just that column, just that column. Okay. And on the side where we deal with the rows, um, the same thing when I click there, it highlights all of, it highlights that entire row. So now I can go and say shading and I'm going to shade that in a type of orange. And the rest, I'm going to click in there. I'm going to hold it down so that I highlight all of that. And I'm going to change that to a yellow color. Okay. And it's as simple as that to shade my table. All right. I can also go with different border styles. So I can say, man, I want a thick border um, around my actual table. And here you can see. With this one, I've got to actually draw it in. Um, this is how I'm going to do this. So that I've got this thick border that is over there, um, but the rest will just be, you know, normal. Um, I Obviously, this is highlighted, this border painter. If I just say, if I use, for example, this option of just all borders, then the border style that I've selected will then highlight, you know, or make those changes to all the borders. All right, I can change my pen color. I can decide what color the border must actually be um, and then go back and say all borders and there it will change the color. Okay, so now we're going to put in some names. We're going to put in 
uh, John Mark. We're gonna put in Franco. Oh, where am I now? Franco Colombo. And I'm gonna put in old Arnold. And we're gonna put Schwartz and Schnitzel. <laughs> Schnitzel. Okay. Lovely long selling. Okay. Now we want to add a picture. So we click in our cell. We can then let's see if there's anything here. I don't see anything here. Let's look at our layout. We can select, we can you know deal with the properties. Here we can insert rows, delete rows, we can change the text direction. <coughs> Apologies. But let's see if I right click in here. What does it allow me to do? Just deal with inserting. Um, my cells and things to it. So I'm not going to do anything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert pictures and I'm just going to say from this device, um, just for argument's sake, I'm going to use that. Now you'll see how big the picture comes through. So you're going to have to resize it, okay, according to however big you want it to be. Remember, we did this before, we can change this, the size. Let's say I make it two centimeters by two centimeters. Uh, let's make it three centimeters by three and there you can see my picture is now inside my table I can go to the next row and I can insert another picture okay I don't want my face that big <laughs> three by three is fine and there you can see I've now got a table that has had its borders formatted I've inserted text I can make the text bigger if I need to, right? And you'll see how the cells adjust. I've inserted pictures. And with this, I can also say where I want my picture. Do I want it in the center? Um, do I want it on the right hand side or the left hand side? Okay. So all those are different options that we have inside our table. Great tens, generally you'll be asked to make a table or it'll be there and you've got to insert a picture, you've got to put in some text. Um, one of the other things is just to format where the text will be. So alignment is usually going to be important. Do we want it in the center? You know, how big do we want the name? Um, all these all these various types of things. And there you can see, for example, John's name fills up the whole cell. There's a picture of John, etc. Okay. And for grade 10, Basically, for what you, you are going to do, um, this is all you need. I think the last thing I'll just check quickly is the alignment. So here you can see, I'm going to use surname. Okay, so with surname, I can change the alignment um, to be in the center of the center of the cell. I can change the text direction as well. So if they say to me that this entire row here, uh, the direction of the text must change, I can do that. If I move my mouse pointer over the lines, I can actually change the size of my rows and my columns. Okay, you'll see some of them will affect only um, certain rows, certain columns. You'll see that this one deals with only that column. But this over here will deal with both. Okay, so that's how we can mess around with our um, cells and in creating tables inside of Microsoft Word.